Sup guys, Juggalo23451, and welcome to another edition of my computer upgrade build. I got my MCP35X pumps, and we're going to do an unboxing. And I got two of them for this bad boy right here. This is the coolant reservoir. So let's get started. All right. Let's lower it down so you guys can see. Pretty standard box, you know, it says Swift Tech, uh, what pump it is, and then all the electrical deal, what it takes, and all that fun stuff. So let's get started. Should take nothing but like maybe one or two swipes of the knife to um, do the tape. And um, I got this pump at coolertech.com and uh, pretty much the, it's the cheapest place you can get these guys right here considering um, these can go up to I've seen them from $90 I've seen them up to $100 and at coolertech.com right now they go for uh, 89 bucks so it's not that bad considering I have seen $98, $100, you know, for this specific kind of pump. But before we get started on the pump, I'm going to go ahead and show you what you get with the pump itself, which is really nice. Uh, they include some, looks like half inch barbs right here. And I'm going to look at the instructions uh, to make sure I'm saying this correctly. And here are the barbs themselves, right here. You also get clamps, which is nice. And uh, we see there's instructions and all that fun stuff. Okay, you get instructions right here, and also you get padding uh, to put on your uh, basically underneath the pump to reduce pump noise, and to take apart this pump you're going to need an allen wrench so it's not like the standard uh, MCP355 where you can just bust out a screwdriver so if you don't have an allen wrench and you get this and you want to use the aftermarket top I feel bad for you, you got to go up buy some allen wrenches okay you get some screws right here which I'm assuming to hold down the pump real small Alright, and here is the instructions. I'm opening that. Here's the foam padding I was talking about. And pretty much tells you like install guide right here. Now let me see uh, what size barbs those are that you come with. Yes, they are uh, half inch barbs, which is nice. So, there you go. I was correct. It's half inch barbs. All right, and then here they tell you how to install it, like so, right here, uh, with the foam padding and everything. And uh, there's little screws at the bottom. And then right next to the screw, or I should say Allen wrench, there's holes. That's where the screws would go into. And uh, pretty much to give you information about the pump and the size, the footprint, all that fun stuff right here. All right. Um, let me move my camera. All right. Pretty much, uh, let me go just go through the specs real quick. Uh, oper operating voltage range, 9 to 13.4 VDC. Normal voltage is going to be 12 volts. Uh, normal uh, power at 12 volts is 18 watts. Uh, normal current or max current is going to be 1.5 amps. And max nominal head 
is going to be 14 decimal 7 feet and uh, maximum pressure is 22 psi uh, maximum nominal discharge is going to be 12 volts and pretty much it says ROHS compliant and it uses a 4 pin for your power right here and then this one right here, it's the four pin uh, connector. I would think that they would have it uh, like the positive and negative along with these connectors on just one Molex right here, the four pin mini Molex, but I guess I was wrong. But this right here is gonna, so you can control your pump right here for your power and you can measure your RPM. But I'm not gonna do that, I'm just gonna go ahead and plug it straight up and have it run full blast. Uh, one thing that's nice about this pump is that it has where you can just bolt up uh, barbs unlike the old version which had standard 3 8 barbs. These they give you uh, half inch barbs and they just screw in like so. Voila! Just like that. And then you have clamps with it which is really nice. And uh, this right here is going to be the inlet. The top's going to be the inlet. This is going to be the outlet, okay? And uh, pretty much this is it. I uh, really don't know what else to say. If you want more information, I'll make sure to hook up uh, a link in the link description of the Cooler Tech where you can get it for the cheapest price as well as it shows the specs and everything, which is really nice. But, um, this is what the pump looks like. I can't wait to use it. But I uh, guess that's it. Comment, subscribe, rate this video, and you guys have a great day. Bye.